Yo, uh, today we were going to be running my APOC 2 free-to-play team. Uh, yeah, we do have two legendaries on this team, but we have a free Volca and we got a Helga. Um, so first off, we got Wrath. Uh, I kind of crippled Wrath. Uh, he could be in a much better build, much, much better build. Um, but I wanted to make it somewhat relatable. So Night Terror, nothing crazy there. Uh, Scarlet Hunt for his artifact, that could be also improved. Like, if you have a higher Scarlet Hunt, it's just significantly better. Uh, you will gain some more damage out of that way. The only reason you should be running Scarlet is if you have a bleed unit like Vladovs, uh, Salazar, uh, Komodo, any of the following. Um, you'll see a big jump in his build as well. Um, Dimos, probably one of the best builds on the team. He should probably be if you're copying this team. Um, he's just going to be the highest damage dealer, so I I still don't have him in like crazy, crazy gear. He's in a crit rate main there. Attack with some low subs. Attack with some low subs. Low subs again. So he could definitely be massively improved. Um, he does have a, mass, or a max Scarlet Hunt, so there's a lot of damage coming from that. Volka, another one. I just threw her in some Fracture. Uh, she's got some decent Calamity pieces, I will say that. Uh, but for the most part, tried to t tune her down a little bit. Uh, Scarlet, uh, she has her uh, Cruel Fate, her exclusive. Um, if you're not running that, I would definitely run um, Scarlet Hunt or even like a uh, Watch Guard's Ambition would work as well. Uh, Realm Tier would work. Vladov, all you're looking here is for attack speed. Set doesn't matter too much. Um, ideally, you'll have him in IR or Soulbound. If not, throw him in Ageless. This works. Um, Night Terror works. And then for his I, artifact, I have him in Watch Guard just so I could try to improve the bleed up time. Next, we have Helga. Helga does have another decent build on the count. Um, this is actually the gear I ran her in Codex yesterday. Uh, all you're looking here for, again, is uh, attack speed with attack. Crit rate's good, obviously, having that maxed, but she's not going to be the biggest damage dealer. She'll probably do, like, I would say 40 million damage, somewhere in there. Um, she does have her artifact just to cycle her back in time. Also, if you are skilling her out, only thing you really need to skill out is her ultimate. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it school, full, fully skilled up yet. Uh, but this 100 cost will make it so much easier to cycle back to her ult. Esold, I'm just going to go through quickly. She's in HP and Guardian. All HP mains. Uh, Bastion Ring. Her build really doesn't matter. Uh, she's there for the ba faction bonus and the damage reduction. And some shields. Uh, Estrid. Fracture. Uh, Warlord. Ideally, her speed will be a little bit faster. Maybe like 300, 350. Um, that's just to try to keep the defense reduction uptime up. Uh, but really all your, once again, you're looking just for high attack, solid speed with the uh, crit, ideally being crit capped. Madan, my least favorite hero on the team. Um, I have her in some ancients, uh, just cause you need the rage regen. You need to get this rage regen up. That's really what I'm looking for in most substats is the Rager Gen. Uh, I, I don't have it here, unfortunately, but HP main there. And then I have her in the Tyus Balm. Uh, if you don't have her, or if you're not running her on the team, you're running Disomi, or you're running Elowen, or even Unomia, you're going to have so much of an easier time. Uh, I will say, like, the one part of this comp that falls apart is generally her, and it's the Poison stage. And it's, like, right when you reach around 25,000. Uh, she sometimes does not cycle back in time, and it's just all hell breaks loose. We lose a few units, and it's just chaos. Hollow, I literally didn't touch her build for my guild boss. It's just her regular guild boss build, high speed, um, low, really low attack. So she's not getting a lot of heals. She's healing fast, but she's getting multiple heals in. Um, and that is just so she builds her rage cat faster, and then she could cycle everyone's rage. Because once she ults, uh, she boosts everyone's rage, so you're really just trying to get the most amount of heals without healing as least as possible. So she could just keep shooting out heals and healing up people. Uh, she is in Euphoric because she spreads the whole field. 
And then finally, we have Dolores. Um, she is an NVIG. Uh, ideally, you would run both Medan, Dolores, uh, Isold, and uh, Hollow all in NVIG. Like, that's perfect, perfect world for this comp. Because then you're getting the four NVIG buffs, and it's just you're dealing more damage that way. Like, I would NVIG, Wrath, uh, Dimos, Estrid, Helga. Or maybe Wrath, Dimos, uh, Helga, and Volca. It's like usually probably one of these four, or include Helga. Like, ideally, you're getting all them in NVIG, NVIG buffs. All right, let's hop into it. Uh, I'll show you the placement, and we will go through. I'll talk through. What I'm doing and why as well. So right away, I'm doing the escape, uh, escape key. Just so I can get the units down with the least amount of time. Okay, so from here we still have Volca or Hollow and Envig. So it's just who do we want to Envig from here. And it's probably going to be Volca. Or no, it would be Wrath. I think even though his gear isn't the best, he's still probably one of the best invig targets. And then now we need to make sure we get Volca, Estrid, and Helga all in the range of Dolores. So these two are going in the back. Helga's going there. Boom, boom, boom. Right away, we're going to pop Hollow. So we can get uh, Helga's ult up. And we will easily stun our way through this phase. Uh, as soon as we get Dimos up, we're basically trying to maximize Dimos and Dolores uptime together. So I won't pop Dolores until I have Dimos generally, just because I'll get more damage out that way. Like they have the same ult time, so it just works out. And then when Hollow's up, we go through, we rage boost them, we get it back as fast as possible. And we just keep cycling like that. I missed Helga there. Whoops. So as soon as we see this claw move, we are going to pop Medan. Get that cleanse out. I popped her too early. I was too excited. Uh, we might burn through this in time. Nice. So as soon as we get Helga down, we need to go in with Hollow so we can get her ult back up. Uh, we should only need one stun on this phase. And then we'll just kill him during the next uh, portion where he's going saw mode. So as soon as you get it, pop it. Yeah, he's going down. We'll take the hit, but he's not even going to hit the right side. <coughs> so we're already a third of the way through. We're almost, probably at the end of this phase, we'll be halfway. Actually, remember to pop Helga this time. Let's go. I'm actually going to probably let this stage just passively die here because all my ults will be up towards the end. Uh, we only have 10% left, and that means I could just completely burn through the poison phase, which is like my least favorite because Medan is so inconsistent. So you can see we're going to go into this phase with everyone ready, and we are just going to melt down this thing. So we're already halfway there. We should be at 30 by the time the ults are out. And then we can go in with hollow. Start rage boosting again. And we didn't take the poison either. Let's go. So next phase we can do the same thing. We're halfway through now. 
Oh, we're going to go with everybody but Helga here. And then right now, we are going to early pop Helga. She's still going to get like the eight stuns out or whatever, maybe seven, eight. And then we can tune in with Hollow, get the, everybody's rage boosted back up. We take like 90% less damage here. And then he's just dead here. It doesn't matter. And then right away, we're going to do a ton of damage during the Aegis phase because we got all the ults going. Uh, ideally, later on, too, that's another thing, is uh, you'll go into the Aegis phase with all your ults ready. That way, before he gets any shields down at all, uh, you can do as much damage as possible. And it just makes the whole stage a ton easier. So we're going to do something similar here. Uh, we should be able to just passively kill it. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. Um, it is a possibility because he's getting so much defense and he's hitting for so much more now. But I would ideally like to go into this phase uh, with all my ults. So we lost Volca, that's not a huge deal. Um, as soon as we get the Medan up, cleanse it. We're right around the damage we need to be. Uh, we will probably lose one here to stun, and as long as it's not Helga, we're fine. We got our damage reduction back. So we hit 30k. We're actually going to die here because we just didn't get the old off in time. We were just a little bit behind going into that. But yeah, that's a 30k. It's definitely going to be a lot easier if you have better gear on like the Wrath and stuff. Like we'll look at the damage. Um, definitely a lot closer than I like it to be. Also, if you have just better DPS, it's easier to get in there. This is just a showcase of it's possible more than anything. Uh, I think the biggest issue with this comp, like I said, is going to be the Medan. Um, we just need better cleansers in the game. Like if there's a better cleanser, like you have Elowen, Unomia, or even like the Somi it works so well here at cleansing. Uh, that poison stage just becomes a joke, and you get to run better supports overall. Like, uh, like especially if you have like an Elowen. Honestly, she's just the carry here. Uh, but you don't have to like burn your ults just to stay alive, which is you have to do during that poison stage, and it kind of screws up the whole rotation. I would go through, yeah. Wrath went, or not Wrath, Dimos went crazy. Like I said, I neutered Wrath's uh, build. So if you have him in like IR or, or even Soulbound, he's going to do so much more damage. Um, Volca was neutered. She could do probably about 90 million. She could probably honestly do like that and if you have Soulbound on her because uh, she cycles her ult so much. Uh, Estrid, like I said, more attack speed on her. You could replace the Vladov. It could still be argued to go with Komodo. I might actually do a comp later this week just to test that out. Um, and then, like I said, the biggest cripple here is uh, Medan. Uh, she's just not a good cleanser. Like, her ult... The issue with her is her ult cost is so much. I think it's like a 1,000. And compared to other support ults, 
I guess hers is still rather expensive, but with Elwyn, you're at least getting like crazy Ragergen, just passive Ragergen, um, which helps everything. But with Medan, it's you're not getting that, and it's just way more hurtful. Like if this was 800, oh my gosh, it would be such an easier fight. But yeah, uh, that's all for the video. If you have any other questions on subs, ask in the comments below. Um, I might do some different runs this week. Like I could show you my real run with uh, my actual Nightmare team and Disomi. Um, that's usually about a 60,000 point run. Uh, also, I might do one on Helga this week. I ran Helga as a tank in my APOC 2 team last week. I can show that real quick. And it was like 66... Uh, thousand sixty nine thousand sixty nine sixty nine baby let's go but yeah i ran a soul cadence team with helga as my main tank and it worked extremely extremely well um this week i'm going to replace hex for alistair and hopefully hit that 80 but yeah that's all for this video like i said if you have any questions and post them in the comments below um i know this wasn't the highest score over uh the runs but uh it got the job done um yeah appreciate all the love that i've been shown uh Support has been absolutely wild this past like week and a half. Videos have all been doing extremely well. I uh, appreciate all the new follows, all those uh, like comments that I've been getting. But yeah, that's all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.